trying medication for ADHD for the first time today and we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, if it goes at all, I might not notice any difference, but hopefully it will help me focus a bit. And while we're seeing if it works, um, you get to see me like put some of my products together in an order and attempt to read this damn book and do some lovely Pride and Prejudice drawings. So <laughs> stay tuned. Let's get this day started. to be doing a day in the life of an artist on my YouTube because I've never actually done a video like this, an art related video at all on my YouTube, even though I'm a commercial artist full time uh, for a living. And that's kind of what my YouTube channel was supposed to be dedicated to. And it ended up being like room makeovers and building a dollhouse and doing um, some needle felting and talking about movies. Whew. I cannot even make a grilled cheese sandwich. That's how bad my cooking is. Are the halls of Pemberley to be thus polluted? I don't know. I don't even know if that's a quote from the book because I've never read the book. That is such a shame. Like, is that a quote from the book or is it just from the movie? I feel like it's a pretty faithful adaptation. I mean, I don't know how I know because I've never read the book, but I'm gonna start reading the book now while I eat my lunch and I'm gonna find out. This order consisted of matchbook conversation starters that I make myself. And I have some six scratch off fortune packs and some eight packs, as well as single fortunes. <laughs> and then I had my spells as well that come in a pack of four for my shops. And then I just needed to get it all um, put together, boxed up, closed up and uh, get my shipping label on there so that I could um, go outside and do some drawing, which is, you know, me getting to the good stuff. <laughs> but I'm really proud that I got this done instead of skipping straight to the good stuff, which is a lot of what my ADHD kind of makes me do. <laughs> such a beautiful day for being outside. I really enjoyed reading uh, and getting my art done while outdoors. I've never actually done that before and I think that I'm going to make it a normal practice. Uh, it just felt really nice. Uh, there were a few distractions outside though. Um, my cat, Plemons, being the biggest distraction, he wanted a lot of love and I had to oblige. So um, I think I may have gotten more drawing done if I had been indoors, but I think reading especially, this would be a great thing to be able to just go outside with a good book. I feel cautiously optimistic. I was able to get done everything that I needed to get done and I even got stuff done that wasn't actually due today. So that feels really good and um, I also was still kind of spacey, you know, I burnt my lunch but I'm also really not a great cook and I was trying to film so I'm going to give myself a pass on that one. Um, but I did still, at least at the beginning of the day still feel a little bit spacey but I never got on social media once so I really feel like I must have been more focused Friday night I was wide awake I didn't go to bed till 5 a.m. Saturday morning and I woke up at 8 a.m. it was awful so I just spent Saturday basically just trying to recuperate I actually slept really well last night which is um, huge and um, I've got my hair and makeup done this morning because we're going to brunch with some friends 
and I wanted to see how Ritalin would affect me in conversation if I was going to interrupt, uh, babble on, or um, finish people's sentences for them. I also wanted Chris to be able to observe me on Ritalin. Um, otherwise, I really wouldn't take it on a Sunday, um, but here I am. I took it at about 7 a.m., but first, I'm going to get some reading done. I feel like conversation was much easier than usual during brunch today, um, but I felt more anxious. I took a walk in the cemetery just to sort of um, get out that anxious energy that I felt that was just like cooped up inside me. I got six hours of sleep last night, which is pretty amazing. I would have gotten more if a huge storm hadn't come through at like five in the morning. Um, I've also read 67 pages of Pride and Prejudice and I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> seem pretty obvious, like being told that I needed to stand out in the hallway because I was talking too much and distracting the other kids. <laughs> and I also was tested for gifted when I was in the third grade and I flunked the test so badly that they thought that I had a learning disability instead. <laughs> These things point to ADHD, but they're not something that I thought of at the time. And the reason why my parents never thought of it was because I was adopted when I was nine years old by them, and I was in foster homes before that. So I can see why they would think that some of my behaviors were a mere adjustment, so to speak, I guess, to my new life. I'm so excited because I got my Pride and Prejudice print done, and I think it looks really cute. It's a mashup of some antique and vintage Pride and Prejudice book covers, um, as well as, you know, some movie inspiration too. And I even had time to work on a, a little digital download freebie for you all that is Pride and Prejudice related, and I will show you all that at the end of this video. I'm still working away on my wholesale orders, but I don't think the medicine's going very well. Um, on top of being anxious, like I was on Sunday, um, I'm also feeling more agitation than Mr. Darcy when he encounters anybody who has the slightest bit of impropriety. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why I'm feeling this agitated at things when I don't have anything stressful going on today. It's really weird and I have to attribute it to the medication because why would I feel this way when I don't have an outside source um, pulling on those strings? So I think at this point, this is my third day taking the medication um, since I didn't take it on Saturday. I think I'm gonna have to let my psychiatrist know that it's a bust. Um, at least this type of Ritalin and at this dosage, um, I don't know what will work, um, since I'm not well acquainted um, with ADHD medications, but this isn't it. <laughs> was a bit of a bust. At least my art wasn't. <laughs> I am so proud of this Pride and Prejudice print. It comes in a little 5x7 and you can pick it up on my website which is hollyaubrey.com and you just click on art or you can hover over art and click on free and I made that free digital download so don't forget and it is also Pride and Prejudice related because I read a quote in the book 
and I was like, I'm going to have to make art for this. And that was also a lot of fun. So check those out and I will keep you all updated both on my medication as well as my progress with reading Pride and Prejudice because I'm pretty determined to finish it, but we'll see. <laughs> Until then though, bye.